Hi friends, today we'll set up a Rocky Linux VM using Google Cloud Platform and then use Secure Shell on our local machine to connect to it. There is a Google Cloud free program in which you can get, a, get access to GCP worth of $300 for 90 days. Link is in the description if you want to read about uh, the details. Go to the Google Cloud link and set up a free account to access your Google Cloud. You'll need to enter your personal information and a payment method, but you will not be charged, charged according to Google, uh, Google. There is no auto renewal. However, in order to keep the remaining of the $300 free trial credit, you'll need to upgrade your account to paid cloud billing before the end of your trial. After you have set up your GCP account, you'll get access and can start using it. A project is now created for you, inside of which you can create different type of resources. On the top left corner, Press the menu button, navigate down to Compute Engine, and then choose VM Instances at the top. At the top, select Create Instance to create a virtual machine. Based on which options you choose, your monthly estimate will be updated. I would suggest using the minimum and upgrade later if needed. Give your VM a name and then what's important is which region you want it to be assigned to. You can best choose this based on your geographical position and that of your customers accessing the GCP resources. I'm just using this VM for testing and personal use, so I don't need to think about other users or customers. Because I'm in, in the, uh, the Netherlands, I can choose uh, the Netherlands region, but seeing that Belgium is also close by and it has a low CO2 emission, I'll choose that one. The zone is just part of the region, you can just leave it as default. As a basic virtual machine, we can select the lowest resources, which has two CPUs and one gigabyte of memory and that will reduce the monthly costs. By default, you'll get 10 gigabyte of disk and the Debian distro. But let's change that under boot disk. Under operating system, choose Rocky Linux, which will change the disk size to 20 gigabytes. We can leave all other settings at default and press create. GCP will take about 30 seconds to set up your VM and then assign an internal and external IP address to it. We will use the external IP to SSH into it from our local machine. Alternatively to uh, using uh, your local terminal, you can also use the terminal provided by GCP. Now let's open our local terminal, for which I'm using Windows 11 terminal, and covered it in a previous video if you're interested. You can also use Mac or Linux. Inside the terminal, we're going to create an SSH key, but first let's see if there is one already created. From the home directory, see if there is a .ssh folder in there, you could find one or more SSH keys. You can either use existing keys or create new ones. I'm going to remove these and create new keys. As key type, I would suggest using ED2519 by using the following command. You can also just enter SSH-keygen and that will generate a RSA key. 
as file name you can leave it as default but make sure to provide a good passphrase this is a permanent value and you need to make sure to remember it or save it in your password manager now you have a private and public key make sure you don't share your private key with anyone that would be like giving out your password but copy the content of your public key to your clipboard and then go to GCP under compute engine navigate down to metadata select SSH keys then edit add item paste the public key in there and save this will ensure you can access any resources under the whole project before we can connect to our cloud VM we need to make sure we have a SSH config file with the following lines in it if you have used an RSA key then you'll need to change the last line accordingly now all you'll need to do is copy the external IP of your VM to your clipboard and using SSH command connect to it before this video is uploaded I have deleted this VM and renewed my SSH key as I mentioned before the SSH key we added was to grant access to the whole project but you can assign a SSH key to a single VM and limit access under your VM instances open your VM press edit at the top navigate down to security and access under SSH keys press add item paste your public key in there and save hope you enjoyed this video about setting up a VM in Google Cloud Platform which I want to use for other tutorials like Puppet and I'll see you in the next video